CNN always seems to want to turn every conversation into a President Donald Trump bashing. Unfortunately for Van Jones, he picked the wrong special guest when he tried to get Kim Kardashian to join him in his disrespect of our president. Kim dropped the hammer instead. Van Jones, left, Kim Kardashian, right, photo credit, screenshot, Kim Kardashian visited the president and asked him to commute the life sentence of a black woman, Alice Johnson, 63, who was serving a life sentence for the first offense of a nonviolent drug crime. Days later, the president did just that, to the joy of Kardashian and others who have been calling for criminal justice reform. But CNN's Van Jones, who himself has been asking for criminal justice reform for a long time, interviewed Kardashian on Thursday and asked her if she felt that she was being used as a political pawn by the president. I think Kanye has already given him legitimacy. Kardashian said, a reference to her husband, Kanye West, sending many tweets in support of the president. I was working on this before, so I don't think I would be used. And at the end of the day, he heard me out. We got the job done. So what could he really use me for, she said. Kardashian said that, the president, felt, Johnson's, heart, and said that, when, President Trump, said he had the papers in front of him and he was signing it, my heart was. So full. Kim Kardashian said it was, her relationship with Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner that helped her to get the meeting with the president on Alice Johnson's behalf. Waiting for President Donald Trump's decision was the toughest part for Kim Kardashian. That week after the meeting, you're just literally on pins and needles waiting to hear out what was going on, she said. I had been in communication with Jared so I was feeling things were looking positive. So yeah, he called my cell phone, she said. She was on the phone with her husband when he called. I said, wait, babe, I got to call you back, she said. I knew it had to be some news. He said that he's really investigated this case and spoke to her warden, spoke to just everyone and everyone had a unanimous, from the people that he reached out to, unanimous feeling of Alice, that she will live a great life. And she will, that she has done her time, has been such a model person in prison, she said. On Wednesday, the White House issued a statement explaining why the president chose to commute Alice Johnson's sentence. Today, President Donald J. Trump granted a commutation to Alice Marie Johnson, a 63-year-old great-grandmother who has served almost 22 years in federal prison for a first-time criminal offense. Ms. Johnson has accepted responsibility for her past behavior and has been a model prisoner over the past two decades. Despite receiving a life sentence, Alice worked hard to rehabilitate herself in prison, and act as a mentor to her fellow inmates. Her warden, case manager, and vocational training instructor have all written letters in support of her clemency. According to her warden, Arcala Washington Aducci, since Ms. Johnson's arrival at this institution, she has exhibited outstanding and exemplary work ethic. She is considered to be a model inmate who is willing to go above and beyond in all work tasks. While this administration will always be very tough on crime, it believes that those who have paid their debt to society and worked hard to better themselves while in prison deserve a second chance. Alice Johnson had applied to get her sentence commuted by President Barack Obama, but she was denied. It took President Donald Trump, who Van Jones call a racist, to get the job done. Facebook has greatly reduced the distribution of our stories in our readers' news feeds and is instead promoting mainstream media sources. When you share on social media, however, you greatly help distribute our content. Please take a moment and consider sharing this article with your friends and family. Thank you. Barack Obama Donald Trump Ivanka Trump Jared Kushneracism